Hello everybody, John of Wales here, and today we are bringing a new game to the channel. Well, it's not really that new of a game, but it's still in early access, and it is by far one of my favorite survival games of all time. Welcome to Green Hell. So this game, basically, in a nutshell, is your you and well, the character and his wife were traveling to, I believe this is Brazil, the Amazonian jungle. And, uh, things don't go exactly as planned, so now you're stuck here trying to survive. So with that being said, we have a backpack for, this is where all your normal resources go. This is your tools, so up here you can select between each menu. You got your tools, sticks, little sticks, rope, which you get off at some of the trees. Got your regular resources, got your foods, which these nuts, they'll, uh, They'll help with, uh, fats. Then you got your fire starters. Three fire starters, and then, I think, somewhere on here, there's some spots for, like, bird's nests, fibers, fire starting stuff. And then, if we look at the watch, we got this guy. So, in the upper left on the watch, down in the lower left-hand corner on the watch, the red bar measures your proteins. The yellow one is carbohydrates. The green one is fats. The blue one is your water. So uh, you want to make sure you keep those up. And uh, when you do bring up the watch, you can also use the mouse wheel to scroll. You can see your coordinates. So if you find a cool spot and you want to go back to it later, you can just mark down your coordinates. Uh, you also have a watch for time. Can you believe that? A watch that tells time. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's get started by gathering up some resources. Ooh, this is a good tree. So... I don't know what the hell these ropes are for, but this right here, the liana, that's your rope. Ooh. I believe those are part of the storyline, those those other things I was picking up, but the Brazil nuts are good, really good for fats. These guys. Yeah, so I did record it previously, I was recording, and I made a mistake and backed out, accidentally hit the quit button, and I lost basically all my progress, so I had to restart. Which is fine, whatever, no big deal. We're right where we were. Ooh. Okay. Okay, there's a rock, that's a good start. So these guys are tobacco. I think these are lily. They're good for bandages, and I think there's a plant this way. Did we pass by one? Here's one. These ones with the yellow leaf, uh, the yellow flowers, or chop them up. You get um, dressings, and you can make uh, bandages out of. Here you got the maggots. Maggots are good for killing, killing, for eating. Um, ooh, maggots are good for eating rotten, basically bad flesh. So if you have like a infected wound, you put the put the maggots on that, and they'll eat all the dead. Nasty skin. Okay, last time there was a jaguar in here and I somehow managed to kill it. I don't know how, but I did. What the hell? So the only thing I have turned off, everything's set on normal, you know. Ooh, stingray. Ooh. The only thing I have turned off is leeches because they're just more annoying than freaking anything. They're... I don't know, I just don't find them. I, I I get why they're in the game, but I just don't like them. They're just annoying. You know what? <gasps> mm. Fucker, get out of here. Punch you. Ooh, bananas. Bananas are good for carbs and fertilizer. You can grow, grow stuff in this game. What the hell is over here? That's Cappy. Capybara, they're good for meat, for your proteins. Um, so yeah, here, it's a good place to start. Uh, you get a, a drying rack, you unlock it. So th this is how you unlock some of the recipes. Shut up over there. Because you got to find them in the world. I know that one, the weapon rack, uh, some of the beds and stuff you got to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm also going to bring up 
the notebook right here on the side. So if I bring up my backpack over here, you got a menu, the backpack, your craft, so you can bring that up to craft with. Inspect your body in case you got wounds or whatever. And here's your book to build with. You got this stuff. I believe this is just like basic. So that's the Molinaria, the, the one with the yellow flowers. Tobacco. Yep, anti-venom. That's what it's called. Macro elements. That's, yeah, here, here you go. That's the best source of fats. Fruits are the best source of carbs. Meat is the best source for protein. No shit, huh? Always drink safer boiled water. Drinking unsafe water may lead to parasite infection, which you can get rid of fairly easily if you've got the stuff. And a lot of the stuff is around. So this ice cube, melting ice cube looking thing is actually a mud brick. Uh, I'll show you how to unlock all that stuff here in a second. Here's all your frames to build. Um, pretty much your, your home or base. Here's your fires. What's we got in here? Ah, oh, the dryer. So that's all like cooking. This is uh, like water filters and stuff. Stone trap so you can catch small little critters with. These are quick little shelters that you can sleep. Or you can sleep and save the game at. But for the dryers to work effectively, you need to build something over them. So we are going to build a regular frame over this fella. Okay. White means you can place it. Red means no go. I think yellow means that there's just something in the way. So we're going to go ahead and place those. They were gracious enough to give us two logs. And as I picked up the logs, you see how I opened up the log stand? So that's how you, uh... So you unlock some recipes, too. So to unlock all that mud stuff I was talking about, you go to any water source, right-click and hold. We'll bring up a menu. And, uh, you just take the mud. And then you drop it again. And that unlocks pretty much most of the mud stuff you'll need. Okay, let's see here. Can I craft? I think it's that. Do I have enough for this? I sure do. Give me a stone axe. And then I want... Uh, so up here, this will tell you what how many things that you could craft with two stones. There's obviously something else that I can craft if I put some more stuff to it. Uh, we're going to craft that up. So so this is where your tools are on this menu again. You got four slots down here, and then this one is just, just strictly for blades, but I'm going to turn this guy into something. Oh, wait, I can't yet. Uh, but only blades can go in this area, which is kind of weird. So... So if I craft this, and I put you there, and do that, I have a stone spear. I can defend myself a little bit. I believe, is it just one bone? Hmm. I forgot how to make the bone knife. Is it like a bone shiv knife thing you can make? Now that we have an axe, we can start chopping down some trees. Some of these trees you can chop down, some you can't. So this one you can. That thick one back there, I believe all the thick ones you can't. Okay, let's get these on there. So right now if I had some meat on this rack, it, it wouldn't be drying. It actually would, I believe it would start losing its dryness. So this is why you gotta put a... Come on, pick it up. This is why you gotta put a roof over it. You usually do that by putting a frame in, and then you gotta put some, like, leaves or something on top of it. Alright, so now we need some more long sticks. Long sticks are usually, you know, pretty much all the tall trees, but these ones right here won't give logs. Oops, just don't stop hitting it. Yes, there is also tool durability. Down in the lower right-hand corner, you can see that long stick icon with the, the, I guess the bar around it. Uh, it tells you how many you can carry. So as I put put that one in, and put that one in, 
the bar goes away. It tells you how many you can carry. I believe it's five long sticks and three logs. But you can see down in the lower right hand corner now, it's the durability of the axe. And now we're going to finish off this frame. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. So now the frame is finished. Now we put a roof on it. So we go back to the same menu. I believe it's in here. There they are. Uh, let's go with a palm roof. There we go. Now we just need some palm leaves. So to get palm leaves, these palm bushes will work. Uh, you can see down the lower right-hand corner again how many... Uh, well, it doesn't tell you how many, but... As I put them in here and pick them up, it shows you a bar of how many you can carry. I believe it's six of these things you can carry at a time. Yeah, because it's halfway full. Yeah, you can only carry six of these at a time. And you can make stands to hold them because... Oh, excuse me. For the longest time, we didn't have that. So we would have to just let them despawn, but now... Creepy Jar has added a lot of stands. I believe there's a couple of animals over here. Yeah, there they are. You can see them right there. I think those are called Pakaris. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and chop this guy down. So if you find these guys, these guys are really good with the, the red thing right there. Oh, Seriously? Yep. Flax, dude. You usually can get that. Uh, I gotta pop this down right there real quick. That's what I'm after, the heart of palm. It's really good for uh, carbohydrates. And those mushrooms right there to my right. I'll show you in a second. Let me just pick these up. These red cups is what I call them. I don't know what their actual name is, but these guys are... I think each one gives five carbohydrates and negative one parasite. So if you're desperate for water and you find some of those, you could just drink a little stream water and uh, you can use those to get rid of the parasites if you get any. You don't get them every time. You just come on. Is that one? There we go. So now I can throw meat on here. Do I even? Oh yeah, this was. Yeah, go ahead and destroy these. They're just taking up space. I never use them. I think they're part of the storyline, which this game, its storyline, is my favorite of all time. Uh, what was it? Alt? If you hold down left alt and right click, you can grab a whole stack of stuff. And if you grab something, and like left click and hold and you're dragging around, if you click right click, you can change its orientation, which is kind of nice. Which I like to keep everything away from the maggots. I don't know why they're in there. I think Creepy Jar just wanted to add a different dimension to the game. Just don't eat those. Try to keep them separate from your foods. Okay, so we need another... Ooh, coconut! Yes! Coconuts are huge for, uh... Water source and cooking with. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so now we got some water. I think we need to drink, so let's see what our... Yeah, we could use a little bit of... Just a tiny bit of everything. I mean, everything's okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drink that, because then I can take this, craft it with one of these, and you get something to carry water around with. So if you get... Uh, if I can get another coconut, you can also craft the coconuts into bowls, and you can cook with them. I believe there's a piece of yeah charcoal here. Charcoal is good for uh, the forge when you find like metals and stuff around the world, or on the map or whatever. You can make like metal tools and metal armor. There is armor that you can craft for each piece of your your body here. Um, let's see if we go to inspect. There's also the hide armor. So if you get like a cut or something and the armor's in the way, you can just hit that and it'll hide the armor for you. Uh, let's see. Here. So yeah, we got the coconut Biden, which is huge. Not a Joe Biden, a coconut Biden. 
Let's, let's, let's go ahead and get rid of that. But right now, we need to find another... Ah, really? Yeah, you better get out of here, little bitch. Although, I'm kind of screwed right now because I don't have any... Ah, that's twice. But I've started in this area, and that's happened. We need to find a rock. ASAP. I believe there might be some up here. That's the plant I need to cut up. I mean, I might... Oh, there's another one. Can I cut it up with this? I can see a cut right on my arm right now. Guess I can't cut it up with that? Oh, yes. Harvest. I forgot to save. That's what my problem was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I forgot to save, uh, we're restarting. That was my fault, so make sure you do that, and this is the exact reason why you want to res or save. But harvest that. Craft, craft. Kind of get some of the stuff going. What is that? Stone? Good for that. Give me that one too. I think we got a few rocks around here. Nice. Okay, so that's the second time I've had to fight that thing. This next time, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fight him again. I'm going to be a little bit more prepared. If I can find some Molinaria leaves, there we go. As you can see on the right hand side, you can see the blades plus one. That's my skills that are going up. You can check your skills. I just, uh... We didn't get that far in, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But just be mindful of, uh... Those guys will attack. And some of the natives. Ooh, yeah, you can see on the right hand side, my blades are just going up. So let me show you how to check your skills. I believe it's in here. Is it here? Yep. So down here on your your notebook, down here, this is where all your skills are. Uh, crafting, cooking, harvesting. So I believe once you hit 50 or something like that, you got to start getting more meat and more bones off of animals. There is a bow. There is actually pretty good fishing in this game. Okay. Uh, spear fishing, which is interesting. There are a bunch of skills that you can have in this game, or that, that are in this game. A few that I haven't unlocked yet, I believe. Okay, well, got some more bandages. Don't you dare come back around, dude. I will let your ass up. Hopefully. Probably not. I'll probably get killed again. Ooh, let's go ahead and get these. This is a lily plant, I believe. When you get these little unknown flowers, you have to let them dry out. And then you can uh, plant them. Once they're dried out, I believe you can plant them. In the small planter box. Ooh, bird. This, you get a little bit of meat and some feathers. The feathers you use in conjunction with uh, the small sticks to make bow. Or arrows. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything with that yet. Not until... Yeah. Ooh. So you guys, I did tell you about these things. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm like, dude, another one? So those mystery snails, you can cook them up or put them in a stew. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna get a stick real quick. Or a rope. And then make another spear. Go here. Put that in there. Go here. And this game is really beautifully like designed. 
the spot that I have in mind, um, it's way that way. There's, it's like a lagoon. It's, it's a beautiful spot, but it's really hard to build on. It's really small. So, uh, go ahead and grab this and, uh, grab some sticks. So yeah, make sure you guys come back to check that out, the, uh, the beautiful lagoon that I'm going to build at. It really is a beautiful spot, and the water, some of the water in this game is really, really nice. Oh, there's that spider again. <laughs> Must be your back dick. So how I'm going to build it is I'm going to have a, like a little house made from the mud. And then... I'm going to build a little workshop where I, like, craft all my stuff up. You know, the forge and all that good old stuff. It's in a really relatively safe location, so... But that's all the time I got for today. Off camera, I'm going to rebuild that, that thing around this and save the game. So, uh, I thank you again, guys, for watching. Make sure you come back. Stop by and check out where I'm going to be building, because that's going to be happening in the next episode. And once again, I thank you all for stopping by. Make sure you guys hit the like, share, and subscribe button so you can be here when the next chapter of this Let's Play continues.